Saturday weather will be good for the uh, show. That uh, Actually, it's uh, an event, I guess, more than a show. Kind of both. Uh, Battle Creek uh, S uh, Central Theater Department is putting on Clue with a life-size board game Saturday and then the actual show next weekend. We have several students from Battle Creek Central High School with us. Why don't you uh, each introduce yourselves and tell us what you're doing with the show. Hi, I'm Rianne Beatty. I'm the stage manager for the show. Okay. I'm Katarina Jones. I'm an actor in the show. Uh, I'm Karina Miller. I'm also an actor in the show. All right. I'm Adam Brown. I'm also an actor. I'm Johnny Mosley, and I'm student director for the show. All right. So nice to have you all here today. I think this is a really cool idea because not only are you putting on you know, the show Clue, but preceding it with this kind of a novel idea. Where did this come from, Rianne? Um, I actually counsel at a camp during the summer with kids, and it was a spy and secret agent camp. So I made the life-size Clue board game then, and since then I've enhanced it because when I found out we were doing Clue the show, I thought it would be cool to do as a pre-event for advertising. <laughs> it is a very cool idea. So you're going to do this, what, in part of the high school? Um, actually, in the McQuiston Theater, we're okay. going to set up different areas as if they are the areas on the board game. One area is going to be the lounge, one area is going to be the library, the kitchen, and such. The characters will be there, and as they play through the board game, they'll get to interact with the actors. Huh. That will be cool. So you'll have, like, you know, so it's like Colonel Mustard with a lead pipe in the library. <laughs> so you'll have a library. Will you have a lead pipe? Yes. Yeah. The school's yeah. lawyers let you have lead pipes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we have a fake lead pipe. Yeah, oh, I see. <laughs> a fake lead pipe. And probably not a real revolver. Do you have a revolver? A fake revolver? A fake revolver, yeah. yes. Oh, man. Yeah, we're pushing it there. Um, well, great. So uh, give us the details on, you know, if we wanted to be part of this life-size board game, what are our opportunities? Well, um, the board game is... Uh, this Saturday, we're doing three different game sessions, so people can come to each of them, or all of them. Um, one from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., one from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., and one from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, you could come to any of them, and then as the games go through, you're going to come in, pay for your tickets. Tickets are, you can, $3 for yourself, but if you come with a group of four to six people, you only have to pay $2. You, so you can come as a team and compete throughout the game to see which team wins. This sounds like a lot of fun, and it's not going to break the bank. And really, it's all just, you know, to, to help promote the show, which is coming up the next weekend. Uh, you're the director. Uh, tell us about the show. What is, is it a musical? Is it a straight play? Is it a, a mystery? What is this? It's a, it's a comedic mystery play, and uh, <laughs> it's, it's really wild. It's really wacky, and it's uh, pretty fun to watch. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, just being there, you know, uh, watching them rehearse and getting them together, giving them notes and stuff like that. It's really uh, exciting. It's really fun, especially to see how far they've come. The show is pretty fun. I'm very sure a lot of people will like it. Uh, they'll find it interesting. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, the people will have to think about while watching the show. It probably won't put together towards the end of the show. So I think it'll be a very good show. And it has a plot, an actual murder and stuff yes. like that. Yes, there's a plot, there's actual murders, you know, you gotta, you know, everyone's dying at these random times, and then, you know, it gets to this point where it's uh, just really fast-paced at some point, and, you know, you just have to try to keep up. Wow, and, and I'm wondering, you know, because I'm thinking, okay, the game board has all these different rooms in a big mansion, how do you get around that on, on a small stage at the McQuiston Theater? The set is huge uh, there's two levels we have a bottom level and then we have a top level that was pretty complicated to make it's it's gigantic this is probably from me being here uh the time i've been doing theater is probably our biggest set we've built wow and that's you Rianne, right i designed the set and then i'm the stage manager so i control all the buildings of it wow and so uh did you have to put a lot of extra screws in there for safety? <laughs> yep, I think I lost a few in the process. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> well, now, um, so who are you guys playing? Oh, um, I'm playing Miss Scarlet. Okay. I'm playing the maid, Yvette. All right. I am Professor Plum. 
Professor Plum in the billiard room with a rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's been a long time since I played Clue, but this sounds like a lot of fun. Um, is there like a lot of um, physical comedy in it? Do you guys yeah. like wrestle on stage and worry that you're going to hurt your fellow actors? There is a lot of running. We run everywhere and a lot of us in heels. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of running. We have, uh, oh yeah, there's a scene where we take the actual water glasses on the table and we pour out all our water and go to the door to listen through it. So we have a lot of things like that. Um, a lot of silly things happen. Well, where do you pour the water in a plant or something? Actually, yes, we do. Yeah, well, that's where I would pour yes. it. <laughs> I just drink it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, wow, this sounds really cool. It sounds kind of like a farce, you know, um, mm -hmm. a traditional farce with where you know they have a lot of doors, a lot of entrances, and a lot of running yes, and a lot yes. of crazy craziness, and then. At the end, it hopefully all makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, is it a challenge to keep it moving? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to do, and you have to remember everything and where it goes. And that, really that'll well be the whole challenge to just keep the momentum and keep it moving and all of that stuff. Now, the weather has been crazy for you guys. You, know, I mean, you, you were supposed <laughs> Ooh, to do all this yeah. last week, right? And and you know, and then you have school days, and probably looking at another one tomorrow. I mean, uh, that's that really makes it kind of hard to get rehearsals in and get it polished up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it uh, it makes it extremely hard, uh, especially you know we have all this anticipated. And then that week that we had off of school was just it took a big hit on us. So, but uh, as a director though. You can just think that they're home studying their lines day and night on those snow days, uh, so they've got them done right. All you actors, you got yeah. got yeah. your lines. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, there. So, so, well, this is going to be great. Tell us uh, when, when's the show staged and how much and that kind of stuff. Um. So we have three points of the show. We have Friday the fifteenth at seven p.m., Saturday the sixteenth at seven p.m., and then Sunday the seventeenth at two p.m. They're all going to be in the McQuiston Learning Center at the high school at Central. It's $5 per ticket, $4 for children, one through 10 and for seniors. Excellent, at the uh, McQuiston Center. And you know, we had a little history note this morning. We kind of do that where we look back in Battle Creek history. Mm -hmm. This date, 1935, the first play by the newly formed Battle Creek Civic Players was staged. It was called The Enemy and it starred James McQuiston. Mm. Wow. wow. That's great. Yeah. So there we go. And we tie all that in with Clue. Uh, again, it's uh, tomorrow. Now, if, if can we just show up for the life size board game? Um, it's. Sorry, explain what you mean by that. Yeah, or do we need the RSVP? Oh, no. You can show up and pay at the door. Um, we have a Facebook page, Battle Creek Central Theater Department. And you can message on there to reserve tickets, but you can just show up at the door and oh, buy your okay. tickets there. Well, great. It's that's ten o'clock to noon, one o'clock to three, and and six to eight. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, boy, it sounds like a lot of fun. It's only three dollars a ticket, two dollars per person if you bring a, a four to six player team. Well, hey, thanks all of you for joining us today, and it uh, sounds like a really cool event. Best of luck to it. To Thank you. Thank you. All right.